guys, today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one. This isn't really something that I do a lot on my channel, but I was scrolling on Instagram last night and I saw this post by Trendmood. If you don't know who Trendmood is, basically she will repost pictures from brands that are sneak peeking their new collections. So this is a palette that's coming out from Kylie Cosmetics and she is doing a collaboration with her sister, Kendall. And when I saw this palette, I was like, wait, do I like that? Why, why am I interested in this? And for some reason, I couldn't quite put my finger on what it is that I liked so much about it, but I just really liked it. But I also know myself, I have so many single shadows, I know that I don't need this palette. And it's probably going to be like 45 to $50 if I had to guess. Her makeup is expensive. And I've tried one palette from her in the past and it was the pastel palette. I totally blank on the name. I don't know what it was called, but it is one of the worst eyeshadow palettes that I've ever tried in my life. I tried it twice and I gave it away and the person I gave it away to also didn't like it. So she gave it away to someone else and that someone else was a kid, I think. <laughs> so that palette was such a flop. And ever since then, I haven't bought anything from Kylie and I really don't want to buy this palette either. So what I did was I dove into my singles collection and I tried to dupe the palette as best as I could. Now, of the time of me filming this, there hasn't been any swatches uh, shown or anything like that. So all I had to go by was what the palette looked like in the photos. And in the photos, it very much looked like there was a flash pointing at it. So that's kind of how I picked out the shadows. I picked out what I thought would look the most similar under flash. So I don't know if I've nailed this or not. Like I could be completely off once I see the swatches, but this was as close as I could get to duping the palette itself. And I think I came pretty close from like comparing the pictures to each other. I feel like I'm pretty close. The only thing that I feel like I'm maybe a little bit off on is this first shade right here, which is just not light enough. I just don't have a lot of very neutral mattes. So for me to have a very light bone colored matte, I have no need for that. So I have never bought that. And also this shade right here, it looked very much like a kind of cool tone taupe with a little bit of pink in it from like the picture, but then I saw a different picture and now I'm like kind of doubting that a little bit, but it doesn't matter. The whole point is that I was trying to dupe the vibe of the palette and I feel like I did a pretty darn good job. And what I want to do today is I just want to play with this palette and see if this is a color story that inspires me. And if it does, maybe I will buy that palette and review it. If you guys are interested, let me know and I might be able to do that. I don't know, but let's go ahead and try this palette and just see if this is something that maybe I would want to have in my collection, obviously with this dupe palette, I don't need it. But if there is maybe interest in me reviewing it, do let me know because I'm always open to hearing you guys' suggestions for what you want to see for videos and stuff. And I am after all a review channel. So if you want me to review something, do let me know, even though I can't promise to review all of it, obviously. But let's go ahead and do an eye look with this and just kind of see what this color story is all about. So I'm going to prime with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base because I do have some staining from yesterday's look. I used a little bit of pink and you can probably see it in my crease. So I just need something with a good coverage here to cover this up with. Now, if I'm being honest, which you guys are probably not going to be surprised, but when I saw this palette, obviously what spoke to me was this side of the palette right here. And this side is like not at all up my alley, even though some of the tones in here are quite pretty, but I do feel like a lot of the mattes are like quite similar, even though there's like slight differences in the tone of the shadows, but not so much in the depth. So I'm not really sure what I want to do today. Um, I would say that my main issue with this palette or color story is that there's only three shimmers and two of them are very neutral, which I mean, look, I'm not surprised. We are talking about Kylie here. And when I saw their promotional picture showing this palette, it didn't even look like they were wearing eyeshadow in it. So they obviously only dabbled in the browns, which again, it is the Jenners. So not really surprised by that. I've never really seen them rock a green smoky eye. So I do want to pull in a little bit of both the colorful shades as well as the neutrals in this. And let's see, where do I want to start? I'm always a sucker for a yellow matte. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in my inner corner. Like, could that be kind of fun? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with that just because I don't know. I just feel like doing that. So this is a shadow from a brand called Cosmic Turtle Cosmetics. This one is called Nag Nag Champa. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. I probably butcher that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put that in the inner corner of my eye here. Now, of course, this is not a review or anything like that of any of these shadows. Um, some I may have used before, some I haven't. I definitely know that my singles collection 
haven't gotten as much use as I probably would have liked, so this is also a good chance for me to just kind of sit down and play a little bit with the shadows that I do have that maybe I haven't used yet or haven't reached for, because some of these are just colors that I don't normally use, but I still, you know, they're still my shadows, so I still want to put them on my eyes here and there. So I'm having so much fallout with this shadow, like, it's not even funny. I hope I can wipe that away. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. So let's see, what do we want to do next? I do think that I want to do something with the neutrals, like I was saying, and I do love me a very good, deep, dark crease. So I'm probably going to dip into this brown here. I'm thinking maybe I'll use this one as my transition shade to the brown. Like, could that be kind of cool? Let's maybe go ahead and try that. I guess I'll go in with the shade here first. I think this one is from ColourPop. Yeah, it's called Hop On. Now, I've said this before, but ColourPop does not have my favorite single shadows. I really like the shades that they have in their palettes, but for some reason, some of their single shadows just aren't as good. I don't know what it is, if they formulate them differently or not, but I just find that ColourPop singles just aren't really my favorites. Like, of course they have some that I do like, but a lot of them are just kind of meh. Whereas I feel like in their palettes, most of their shadows perform very well. Let me know, do you guys have any eyeshadow palettes from Kylie and how do you feel about them? Because I rarely see anybody review her palettes and honestly, a lot of the time her color stories aren't bad. Like, yeah, they're maybe a little bit too neutral and boring for my liking, but I still think that a lot of her color stories are, you know, quite well done and they are quite cohesive and they look like they would work very well, but I don't really know what the quality of her shadows is ever since I tried that one palette and I hated it. I just haven't even really looked twice at her new releases because I just don't really care or I'm kind of scared to, you know, buy from her again just because I had such a bad experience with the one palette that I did try, but I would absolutely be open to reviewing some of her palettes if you guys say that maybe her quality has improved a little bit. So I think before I go in with the brown, I wanna do something on my lower lash line. I don't know what yet though, but I'm thinking I wanna use another one of these kind of colorful mattes because I can't help myself. If I have a palette like this, I'm of course going to gravitate towards all of these beautiful, stunning, bright colors. So maybe I'll do a little bit of the purple under my eye. I feel like that could look kind of cool. So this one is Borealis from Cleona Cosmetics and I really like the tone of this shadow. It's not my favorite matte purple in my collection. I find it to be a little bit tricky to work with sometimes, but since I'm only putting it on my lower lash line, I think it should be okay. It's definitely one of those shadows and formulas that would perform better if I had a little bit of eyeshadow primer under my eye, but honestly, I'm lazy and I cannot be bothered right now. And I'm just going to blend that ever so slightly into that coral shade that I have in my crease here. Just gonna take a little bit more of that coral shade and just make sure that these two are nice and connected here in the outer corner. And then we're gonna go in with one of the browns, probably gonna use the darkest browns because I do like a lot of depth in my looks. So the darker the better for my outer corner at least because I just find that when you have as hooded eyes as I do, the darker you go in your crease, the less hooded your eyes are going to look. Now. I'm not saying that you need to make your eyes look like they're not hooded, but I just find it to be a little bit more flattering on my eye shape at least if I do that. So I always gravitate towards very dark mattes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color right here, which is from Luxie, and this one is called Hickory. And I'm gonna start by just packing this in the very outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to gently run it through my crease as well as take it a little bit on the outer portion of my lower lash line just to kind of connect the shade all the way around my eye. Now I don't remember how this brown performs so it'll be interesting to see if I'm able to do what I want to do with this because Luxie doesn't have my absolute favorite formula but I do have some shades from Luxie that I really do like but I just don't remember which ones are what because it's been such a long time since I really played with them. So, I mean, this is doing exactly what I wanted to do. I'm getting a lot of really nice depth here. And then I gotta figure out what I wanna do on my lid if I want to use some of the more neutral shimmers or if I wanna go in with the green. I haven't yet decided. I know the obvious thing for me to do would definitely be to use the green because it's me we're talking about, but I might actually try to use some of these neutrals because obviously if I were to buy this palette somehow, I wouldn't want to get it and then never use the neutral, so I want to see how I maybe feel about having those kind of neutrals on my lid. 
Like as much as I am a sucker for color and I love everything color, as long as I have a little bit of color on my eyes, like I'm perfectly happy with it. Like it can be either a colorful crease or a colorful lid. I'm okay with both. I feel like a lot of people get the impression that I just hate all neutrals, but I don't hate them individually. It just kind of depends how they're used. Like I'm not really one to go with a brown smoky eye with the bronze on the lid. Like that is not me at all, but I can mess with the bronze shadow if I have like some colorful mattes in my crease and I don't mind that at all even though it's not like you know it's not something I'm going to be reaching for a lot but I don't think it looks bad by any means. So that color performed so well. Let's see I do have a little bit of fallout still with that purple here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the crease colors and or I should say the colorful mattes here and just intensify those a little bit before I go in with any of the shimmer shades on my lid here. I feel like my palette definitely has more kick up and fallout than her palette probably will. So I think this looks okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of that bronze as well as a little bit of the green on my lid. So I'm first gonna go into the shadow right here which is from Cleona. I'm pretty sure this one is called Carbu, and I honestly really like this shade. I am gonna use some of my NYX glitter primer because I can't live without this anymore. So I'm first gonna place some of that on my lid here. I am going to make it into a bit of a cut crease, but I'm not taking it all the way out. I'm just taking it about two thirds of the way here. And then I'm first gonna take that brown shade, like I said, and I'm gonna place that in the middle of my lid here and blend it into that brown. And then for the front portion, I'm gonna use, I think, the green. And this green is from Glaminatrix. It is called Bank. So I'm not sure where I cut off, but I'm currently putting that green on my lid. And like I was saying, this is one of my favorite shimmer formulas that I have in my collection. Glaminatrix, just kill it. If you are unfamiliar with Glaminatrix, they are a Australian indie brand. And I am just head over heels in love with her formula. I just think that it is so good. It is by far the most metallic shimmers that I own in my collection and they're so nice and opaque. If you are someone who maybe likes a little bit sheer shimmery shadows that are more kind of toppery like, you wouldn't like these, but if you like very metallic, intense, opaque shimmers, you would be head over heels in love with the Glaminatrix formula, I feel like. Oh, this looks so pretty. I'm honestly kind of obsessed. And I really like how that bronze shade looks on the lid. I never thought I would say that. That's not something that would probably come out of my mouth very often because I don't really use bronze shades. But honestly, along with this colorful shade, that looks so pretty. See, I kind of see where they were getting at pairing that green with the bronze shades because this looks so good. Like maybe this is something I need to do more often because I'm digging this. This looks, oh, I think this looks so fun. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that brown that I used in the outer corner and just make sure that I blend that bronze in with the matte so that we get a little bit of a better blend out here. So what do I wanna do in my inner corner? Do I wanna wrap this green around a little bit or do I, I think I'm just gonna go back into that yellow and take a little bit of that on a small pencil brush here and try to not get too much fallout. Just pack a little bit more of that in my inner corner and just wrap that down to meet up with the purple because I really like the combination of yellow and purple together since they are complementary colors. They really contrast and complement each other. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that purple after as well and just make sure that these are kind of touching without blending them together too much. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it for the eyes. I'm gonna finish off by doing some liner and mascara, and then I'll come back and we can do the face together because I still wanna do some blush and highlight and lipstick. Maybe I'll just put on a lipstick. Nobody needs to watch me put on lipstick. So I'll be back when the eyes are done. <laughs> okay, so here is basically the eyes done. I do wanna do one extra thing though, cause I wanna take one of my topper shades from Shine by SD Cosmetics. And I wanna pop that in my inner corner over that yellow. So I'm gonna take this yellow right here. This is the Reserve number seven. It's from the Reserve collection. I did do a video where I showed you some swatches and stuff. I will link that in the corner. But I wanna to try to get some use out of these because this is the kind of product that I just kind of personally forget to use. But they are so beautiful, so I don't wanna to forget to use them. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my pencil brush here and I'm going to spray that with some Fix Plus just so I make sure that it sticks to my eyes here. 
And I'm just going to pack a little bit of that right in the very inner corner, right over that yellow that I have. Oh, that is so pretty. It's kind of leaning a little bit green though, which I wasn't really expecting, but it's fine. I'm gonna take a little bit over that green as well. Man, this is so intense. Oh, but also just so beautiful though. So did I just remove a lot of that yellow? Yes, but I really don't even care because oh, this looks so pretty and so glittery. For my lips, I used a, let's see, what are you called? This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. It's in the shade Any Tangerine. You can use these both on your eyes and your lips or really anywhere you want. On top, I have a Anna Sui lipstick. This is in the shade F402. It is a beautiful orange. I just thought that with this crease, I would really like having an orange and I just, I don't use orange lipstick enough, but I think it looks really pretty. So let's go ahead and finish off with the face here. I wanna find a bit of like a, a warm tone blush to go with this look and I think I wanna use like a yellow highlighter. I think that could look kind of fun. So the blush that I think I wanna use is from one of my Morphe trios. This is in the shade Pop of Coral and I'm gonna grab this middle shade here, which is kind of like a shimmery coral shade. It's been so long since I used this, but I remember really liking it when I did. Oh yeah, that looks really pretty. That's exactly what I wanted. It honestly reminds me a little bit of the new Natasha Denona blush that I love so much, but this one is a little bit more shimmery, I would say, but the tone of it is quite similar. And I just realized that I have not put on any freckles today yet. I feel like we need to change that because I can't be without my freckles. I mean, they just make me so happy. And I kind of regret not having done that before I put on the rest of my face. Can I really go a day without freckles, you guys? I just feel like maybe if I put it on now, it's too late. You know what? I think I'm gonna skip it because I don't want it to look bad at all. So oh, that's so sad though, because I really like my freckles. What am I gonna do for highlight? I think I'm gonna use my Wooden Side Highlighting Palette again because this thing is just so beautiful. And I'm gonna grab the shade down here, which doesn't have a name in the palette. Let's see, it doesn't really say, does it? I think this one is just called, oh, I'm such an idiot. Like it literally says the names engraved in the shadows. So this one is called Mone, which means moon. If you haven't seen this palette, I did do a video trying a lot of their products. I will link that in a corner as well, but the packaging on these is just, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna grab the shade right here here and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter today. Let me just dig in a little bit more here. That's better. So this is a very, very wet looking and not glittery highlighting formula, which I think a lot of people would really like this. Like if you've been maybe eyeing the Kaleidos ones, which are definitely more on the glittery side, but you don't like glittery highlighters, this is probably going to be a better alternative because it still has some really, really beautiful colors in it but the formula is maybe a little bit more forgiving. Now, I don't really feel like I have a lot of texture in the spots where I highlight, so I'm not really one to be able to speak about how it would layer on top of texture, but personally, I find it to be very, very smooth and just looks very nice and wet looking on the skin. So that's gonna be it for the look. I think I'm just gonna take my blush brush again and just make sure that these are meshing together. And yeah, let me know how you feel about this look. Also, would you be interested in this palette? Do you want me to review this palette? Should I just maybe do some more looks with this palette in case you are picking it up and you feel like this is a good enough dupe? Did I do a good job? I really hope that the swatches of these are out when I'm editing and posting this video so I could put up the comparisons between my swatches and their swatches and just see how I did. I feel like I would have to probably tweak a couple of the shadows in here, but you know what? The whole point is just to kind of dupe the vibe of the color story. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just about trying to figure out if this is a color story that maybe you would like, or maybe I would like, because I wasn't sure at first if I would really like these colors together, but with what I have going on on my eyes right now, I freaking love this look, but I do think that the quality of the shadows that I used is probably a little bit better than the quality of the shadows in that palette, but I could be wrong. And I would be willing to give it a try if there is enough interest. If you wanna see some other, I was gonna say similar videos, I don't think I have any, but here's a few videos you might enjoy. And if you're new, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one.